What effect do king tides have on ocean animals living in coastal areas? Animals living in coastal areas are already used to the water level changing with the regular tide. But king tides are extreme tides, and areas that aren't usually underwater can be covered during the high tides. And conversely, animals that live below the low tide line may now become exposed to the air during these extremely low tides. So what do they do? The animals that can move will move lower into tide pools or out with the tide. Those that can't move must do their best to stay moist while exposed to the air, sun, and weather. Limpets, for example, will clamp down onto rocks, trapping any moisture underneath their shells. Other animals, like mussels, will close tightly while waiting for the tide to return. Anemones retract their tentacles and curl up to retain moisture. They also tend to collect little bits of shell and other debris as the tide washes out, sticking to their soft bodies. This helps them stay moist while out of the water for an extended period of time. This is an extreme time for some of these animals, and they must do what they can to survive until the tide comes back up. While king tides show us extreme water levels, behaviors, and impacts on land, they are predictable. The higher water level during king tides can give us an idea of what to expect in the future with rising sea levels due to climate change. Understanding what the future may hold will help us better plan for the potential impacts, and it's what we do with that information that will be so important. Now, if you'd like to learn more about king tides, be sure to visit our website at montereybayaquarium.org.